Okay, another round of viewer reacts. What is Number this? Number 10. 10. Double digits. Yeah, Imagine weird. that. I couldn't have imagined that. We haven't been pulled yet. So. Isn't it weird that we did this and we didn't think that we'd get that many of them? No, I know, <laughs> right? It was like, oh, man, we're going to get like a handful of these. And yep. then no, now we'll they're just rolling have to move on. Non-stop. <laughs> multiple a day. Oh, I know. It's wild. Yeah. Which, I mean, maybe we'll do this twice a week. Who knows? Anyways, we probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fight off more than we yeah, can Yeah, exactly. Chip. Okay, so we're going to start with some follow-ups of mm -hmm. some previous tattoos, and then we'll move on to new ones. So, first up. So, this would be the other side of the back tattoo. Yeah. Now, and we were wondering if there was more. Yeah. Now and how do more. you continue? And now I can see that... The front and back are connected. Mm -hmm. Still, though, let's go higher up and lower, <laughs> right? Like, keep going. This isn't good enough. You just have, like, yeah, just the highest keep... expectations yeah. for any of these projects. Yeah. Why aren't you on your full body yet, man? Well, I can see the commitment. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right, that's Some where dedication. I would say. And they run that line right up to the nipple. Mm -hmm. Run it over the nipple. Oh, too, yeah, right yeah. Because yeah. it's not going to get much worse. You know, if there's one thing we preach on this podcast, it's tattoo the nipple. Yeah, so. I'm... I'm I'm very pushy about it. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't be, but man, just commit. Yeah. Anyway, this Dive person, in. if they're going any higher, definitely get that nipple out of the equation. Mm -hmm. Like murder that bad boy. <laughs> uh, I do want to take some time to talk about the helmet. Yeah, I figured that was going to be like, most of what we're going to talk about. Now, not that the, it's a bad helmet, mm -hmm. right? I would assume this person wants the anonymity. Oh, like I would. They have. don't want to be in the More picture. than likely. Um, Plus, like, it's a sweet helmet. Is that motorcycle helmet? Then? I can't. So it's I was thinking like a Halo. Power Ranger. I was thinking Halo, but I don't think it is Halo. <laughs> maybe it's Halo. Yeah, maybe. See, this is the problem. I was a PlayStation kid. Oh, fair I, enough. Like, I don't, I don't know things well enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know what this helmet is, but I do dig the helmet. I and guarantee necklace. you, someone in the comments is losing their mind. Yeah. How do you not know? What how this do you is? not know this? Yeah. But the tattoo we talk work. about tattoos, not helmets. <laughs> yeah, we don't typically rate helmets here at the range. <laughs> I mean, this this is a pretty nice helmet, though. So this this tattoo just says the back, pretty cool. It's a lot of lines. I still wonder how long this whole thing took. Mm -hmm. Especially now, I see it's front and back. Oh yeah, so yeah. So this is guaranteed not one day. Well, I think you're right. Yeah, but I I'm just saying, I cannot imagine. That's I a wouldn't. Lot. I wouldn't sit for it. I, I wouldn't I, do it. I could see it in two, though. Yeah. But it's like a, that's a shitload. It's not because it's not even because I would be worried about the pain of it so much as it is like the healing of I it. I know. The consistency, what's going to be left after it. Well, when I see people do like too much tissue in mm -hmm. one day or like in like a back to back situation, I'm always just like, man, I feel like you're really taking a, like, a roll of the dice with yep. how this thing's going to heal. What's it going to look like at the end? Mm -hmm. Right. Take smaller bites more often. Yeah. That's my motto. But like, there's a dude here who just did a like an outer sleeve in a yeah. day, in town, and I just kept thinking like, man, that's a lot of trauma. Yeah. That you have to all heal at once. And you're going to be nursing that all week. Yeah. Like you're going to be scared about getting infection and all yeah. kinds of crap. And there's no way that doesn't take longer to heal. Yeah. There's no way. I don't know. But anyways. But yeah, this is cool. I like the back and the front is I think even better. Yeah, I, so. I would agree. Yeah. I like the front a lot. That's cool. <clears throat> All right. So next up, also a, uh, a follow-up to uh, the previous tattoo. This is a healed. Yeah, this is the the black sort of koi Japanese mm -hmm. infusion thing. I'm glad he mentioned See? who the artist was. I follow him now, and he's dope. That Baradim yeah, tattoo. So yeah, good. I checked it out, too. Yeah, this healed even better than it, than it looked fresh, as yeah. I expected, just because he had that redness. Everything yeah. had like a goldy red kind of sheen to it. Yeah. And now it's it's all cleared up, and you can see the negative space. Um, sometimes uh, when you're doing black and gray like this, everything looks way darker than it ends up yep. being. Yeah. Um, so I I prefer the the healed version of this way more. Man, I I am like just a fan of healed tattoos. Yeah, me too. I wish you seen them more. Yeah, I just yep. wish that that was like the thing that we but did. I mean, I understand why you never see them. It's because even if they're posted. They don't trend. Yeah, it's wild. I post the healed version. It doesn't get as much traction. Mm -hmm. It's too bad because this looks way better to me. Oh, it's so dope. Like I it, liked it before. And this looks just kind of like casually just maybe six months a year. Like mm -hmm. it's it's very settled. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be a bold tattoo for life. For life, yeah. That's going to be sick forever. And, and if you ever did need to do touch-ups on this, it would be really easy to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like it would be just so easy to mm -hmm. make this pop again yep so 
You're not wrong there. Sweet. I appreciate the follow-ups. I like the healed photos. Mm -hmm. All right. So on to some fresh stuff. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm thinking this is the side, like a, in the rib area. Yeah, the ribs. Yeah, this is this is a cool one. Very stylistic. This reminds me of something Sarah might get. Yeah, I could see her getting something like this, but she would have it um, more negative and harder black. She's right. really all about the black contrast work. of black work. Yeah, mm -hmm. this has got a bit more of a black and gray feel to it, but super evil. Uh, I like the flower a lot. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool how they did it. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about this. other than I think there could be some things made a bit bigger. Like I, I would have liked to see those horns kind of take up a bit more space. Mm -hmm. Just because they look a little small up there. Mm -hmm. um, I like the moon and kind of the shading around it. But I think that I think dotting would have been better mm -hmm. for the, the shading around gotcha. the moon. Yep. I think it would have looked more distinct. You know, one thing I do a love, washy. I love that I'm seeing it over and over and over again. And I, I just, I never am mad at it, is those hollow eyes where you have pupilless eyes. Yeah, I, I love really that like look. that too. Just absolutely love that look. Yeah, it's a good answer too. Because mm -hmm. it's like, what do you do there that's going to enhance this tattoo? Yeah. Like if you put pupils into this, it's probably only going to take away from it. Yeah, it loses something. Right. You know so, what I mean? <clears throat> You're trying to lean into the spooky factor. Yeah, again, I think some parts of the hair are a little bit too crispy. They're a little too outlined. Mm -hmm. Could have left a little more breathing space, I think. But overall, a really cool one. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah. <coughs> There's a lot of good ones in this one, actually. Yeah. I th that's <coughs> most of what's left as, as far as I've seen so far. Yep. I'm not getting as many bad ones anymore. I know. Nobody's taking risks, man. It's too bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's move on here. Yeah, this is cool. I think this is going to heal well. They dotted a lot of this, mm -hmm. and they made it really, really bold. Um, my only problem with this, again, is later if you're going to build this into a sleeve, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard. It's going to be stickers. I think you're going to have to do a sticker sleeve and do a lot of dots behind everything. Well, I mean, you could also do something that just leads up right to it, but I know what you mean when yeah, you do that hard border. Uh, it's just really sentence. hard. Yeah. But that hard on the hand will have a chance of holding for a long, long time. Yeah. She'd never do anything too dainty on the hand, I don't think. Mm, uh, yeah, I mean, if it's too delicate, it just never ends up looking delicate. I mean, you can, like, we had that hand tattoo last time where mm -hmm. it was the shading that was done on knuckles and stuff was yeah. done in a way that if it falls out, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right? That's another way to go. But uh, I think that this is a great use of the hand real estate. Yeah. People make it really complicated on the hand mm -hmm. a lot of the times, and then they end up not being happy with what they have at the yeah. end of it. Yeah, I think so. like when you're dealing with smaller spaces, bold is a better choice. You yeah, know I mean, yeah, just big and bold. Yeah, just so. go for it. Yeah, and the dots, we we all, as we know, dots heal really, really well. Yep. So they're gonna stay nice and dark. Yep. The only thing I'd be worried about is you can that like hard black that went right over those knuckles. So I, I think it'll probably end up doing this, that same kind of knuckly thing where it's like those are gone. And it sucks when it's like a bold border like that and you've lost a portion of that border. But whatever. Fair. Yeah. You know, another one of those. I'd love to see it healed. But I, I think it's done in a way that is the best chance kind of thing. I would I would go 50-50 that this heals almost identical. Really? Yeah. I, I want to see it again, though. Yeah, And yeah, then yeah. we can talk about that. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right, next up. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, I like the. I like how they've woven the two tattoos together. Yeah, it's cool, right? Because this idea. was not done at the same time. No, no, no chance. Nope. Um, completely different styles, and uh, obviously a different artist. Um, this this is a really cool. It, mm -hmm. right? Um, not a big fan of color, super color tattoos in general, but this one does hit that kind of dark point for me mm -hmm. i don't love parts of the hair though it's a little too it leaves a little too much up to the imagination so i agree with that but i also wonder like when when you're going to focus on the hair and things like that i think that something like this pushes the focus to the face more it does yeah so i think it kind of serves a purpose but i know what you mean yeah i think that just a little more um a little more black in the hair just a bit more yeah to give it a little bit more of a structure so was the idea just the, like, I'm wondering, is this all that's fresh? Just the lines connecting everything? Right now, I think I think the top part is healed for sure. Yeah. I think, the, like, I think what's happened here is they did both tattoos, and then they're like, how do I stick these two tattoos together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Just kind of tie it together So somehow. that's what this session was, was just doing that stitching there. Yep. Well, yeah. I like it. They succeeded. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. Sweet. Next up, well, last but not least, actually. <laughs> Again, this is another bold hand tattoo, but <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I, there's not too much to say about this, really. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it is a rose. Yeah. Right. It's a rose. It it is what it is. But this is like one of those things that I get frustrated with with people that are doing roses like this, where it's like they're they just go too hard into the dark. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they're scared of like that drop subtle out. texture between t- tones and things like that. Like, yeah, yeah. Because like that's just it's really heavy and a, and a f- chunky. Uh, like a, a rose is almost never heavy. You know yeah, I mean? they positioned it off the knuckles. Yeah, which is probably wise. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> but yeah. this looks like it was done thirty years ago to me. Yeah, you know I, again, I mean? it like could it, be it could be two weeks, it could be thirty years. I could, I could. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, again, I've <laughs> the same as the tattoo up top. It's that super yeah. super heavy little outline. Like, yeah. Why does that outline need to be bigger than the tattoo? I have no. There's idea. more outline than there is tattoo. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, you really want to make it stand out. It's like I'm just gonna line this out. I'm just going to line this out. I'm going to line it out nine times. <laughs> I think it needs to be really bold. Yeah. Otherwise, they won't know what they're looking at. Yeah, how could they possibly know <laughs> if I just lined it the one time? Because I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be reacting to between the, the casket and the rose. I would assume the rose. I think it's the rose. But, but they're both on equal display here. Mm-hmm. How long ago do you think this rose was done? Dude, again, this is like this could be this could be fresh. This could be a week old. This could be 10 weeks old. This could be 30 years. I don't know. We have that problem that I always have with flowers on these reacts where they're just so crispy. Mm -hmm. Like every petal looks like the edge of a Dorito. Yeah. Right. It just, it drives me insane when I see that. Dude, there's a fine line, man. You can't, like, if you, if you are going to do that, then you're just doing trad, which is fine, but just do it. Yeah, but this is done in a realistic way. I know. <laughs> it's a realistic rose, I know, but it's me so out. sharp. Yeah. It's like, why is it so textured? It's supposed to be soft. Well, again, it's it's that kind of like, I want to define the edge, but I don't really know how to do that in a subtle way. Because like you're not going to put in heavy black like that if you understand how to do it subtly. Well, that, that there looks like cover-up. Yeah. But I know it's not. It I also wonder if they just used black. No gray wash? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. like, I, there's some guys that can do that, and it, it turns out cool. But otherwise, if you accidentally start washing with it, then all of a sudden you get that, and it's well, just heavy, dark black. ends up looking like it was a cover-up, even though that, I know it yes, wasn't. Yes, that's exactly it. Right? It, it does that, lo- that heavy look of a cover-up. And there's no way it was a cover-up unless the tattoo was this big. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it, it was looks... like a little initial or something on yeah, the Yeah, it looks cover. like a cover-up, but it's, that's got to be the worst crime when you make a tattoo look like a cover-up but yeah, it wasn't it's not yeah no that's fair man that's one of those things that like i feel like we should almost rate them on like yeah. um, how much of a cover-up if, they accidentally, this look- if, if they're com- covering up nothing but they made it look as such yeah it's like look at this new tattoo i got oh is it a cover-up <laughs> yeah. no oh sorry <laughs> whoops yeah that's what this one gives me it gives me yeah. cover up vibe so does the, the the one up top too yeah. like there's that hard border because that would make the border make sense yeah you know you're I mean? covering it's like something. well we had to cover it so. yeah we used heavy black yeah it just <laughs> is what it is man <laughs> all right well that's the end of this one let's just yeah. keep on sending them because uh yeah we yeah, have a grand a old time let's keep sending them to the 11 below. yeah 11 here we come <laughs>